Hey guys, it's Jackintosh7 here, and today I'll, I will be showing you how to do boot your Mac with Windows 7 or any other Windows using um, Boot Camp. Um, now, Boot Camp comes already on your Mac, so you, um, you don't have to worry about installing anything. Um, now, first we're going to make sure that you're, you have enough storage on your computer. So we're going to go to uh, um, the Apple logo about this Mac, more info and go to storage and um i have 212 gigabytes free of 500 pretty much 500 if you round it um so that's per that's enough for booting with windows if you have only like 50 left i would be kind of on the edge of doing it because the smallest part partition you can make is um 20 so right there you'd only have 30 left towards mac all right so also, I'm gonna now I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. You're going to be needing um, a copy of Windows. You can be using a legal copy of like a CD or a ISO image that you downloaded from um, you pay you downloaded from Microsoft's website. Um, I think that's where you can get it, or you can um, buy it someplace else. Um, and but so. You're gonna need if you have the disk, all you need is the disk. Um, but if you have a ISO image, you're gonna need a flash drive, and you're also no matter what you're going to be needing a blank CD. Okay, you're gonna need a blank CD to put your drivers on. Um, so otherwise your keyboard won't work, your uh, Mac keyboard and your um, Magic Mouse and stuff like that won't work with Mac. Sometimes your display will be funny, so that's gonna fix everything. So now we're gonna open up. Um, we're going to open up boot camp. My trackpad just died. I'm using my mouse right now. Alright, so this is what's going to happen when you open up to uh, boot camp assistant. Now, if you have an ISO image, you're going to um, check this. I don't, so I'm not going to check this. It's going to run through the steps, okay? Um, no matter what, you're going to be checking this and this, okay? I'm not going to be checking this because I already installed the drivers, okay? So, I already have the drivers and burnt them to a CD. I already burnt them to a CD. So, I'll show you what it's like to create um, a Windows 7. Install this. You're going to need a, C um, a blank flash drive. It's going to be um, partitioned. It has to be over 4 gigabytes, okay? Because this is an operating system. It's going to be a big file. Um and then you're going to it's just going to run through this it's pretty much the same thing insert a blank cd or you can use an external hard drive and then it'll download everything i already have it so i'm fine that's fine now i have to open it back up of course all right so bootcamp assistant um also i highly re recommend that you back everything up using time machine um i did mine yesterday at 8:20 yeah yes um so yeah no matter what you're going to be checking this and it's going to bring you to this page okay so see this right here is your, your uh what it, this is how you partition it okay now usually if you don't do it this way you're gonna have to go into disk utility and stuff but boot camp just makes it so much easier because it does everything for you all right you just have to choose what size you want it to be so 20 is the least that you can make it but i would make i would recommend making it more than 20 because with wind all the windows files will probably you'll only probably have about 15 maybe less left okay so I'm only going to be playing a few games, so I'm going to put it to 50. Now, you don't have to put it to 50 just because I'm putting it to 50. You can do whatever you want because it's your preference, okay? I'm going to be putting it to 50 because um, I'm just going to be playing some games on it, and I'm just really going to see how I like it and stuff like that, okay? I've done it before, but, yeah, I'm just going to try it. So then you can hit install, and then, you. but first you're going to have to put in your either your disk or your flash drive with your ISO image on it. Okay, sure you put your disk in and then you can hit install and it'll do everything for you. Bring you to the um
All right, so if it went wrong, you should get up to this screen, okay? Um, if it didn't get wrong, I'm um, put a part into the video. Um, I'll to have it skip ahead. So um, you either want it to go into you want it to go into Mac, so you can find out what happened. Um, see if it made the partition on the drive, okay? Um, so let it do that. Go to the Apple thing. So don't panic or anything. First time I did it, I panicked. I erased my whole hard drive because I had my time machine backups and it took me a day to restore everything. Okay, so don't panic because it's I had to wait a day to restore everything. So I had my computer for without a day. So it's gonna restart. Um I don't know why that happened, so I'm gonna try to figure that out and I'll let you guys know. I probably put the wrong disc in or something stupid like that. So yeah. Alright, so I fixed the problem. It was uh, because I had another program running and or my optical drive uh, was just being stupid because it's a USB drive and has two USB plugs and I guess one of them wasn't plugged in. So now I can't use my screen recorder to do this. I have to use my camera. So uh, you're going to get to this page after you see Windows is loading files. Um, I'm going to choose uh, English. Yep, and then I'm going to choose, everything here is the same for me. Um, I accept. Next. Alright, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? Right here, this is your primary drive. Alright, as you can see right there. You do not want to install it on your primary drive. You have to do boot camp. The bottom one it should be. Partition 2, this is just Mac stuff, recovery stuff like that. So hit this one, okay? And then what you're going to do is, you can't see, you can't hit next, as you can see. So what you're going to have to do is hit um, drive options and hit format. Hit OK. There's nothing on bootcamp partition yet, alright? So it's done. Now you can select it. It's already selected. I'm going to hit next. And now it's Windows is going to copy files and install it onto the um, the bootcamp drive. Alright, so as you can see, it's downloading everything. And um, I'm going to be cutting out the part where uh, the product key is, so you guys don't take my product key. Okay, so just put your name in. Alright, and as you can see right now, my trackpad is not working. The light is on, and I'm moving it and it's not working so you're gonna need a USB mouse for this anything you should have one um, okay I don't want to put a password this is a desktop um, ask me later and then it's gonna do this and take a little while so uh, I'll be back when this is done installing alright so as you can see my desktop is here and uh, Everything's really working um, right now. So my keyboard is working. Um, my trackpad is working. Um, but as you can see, the screen is very blown up. I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna change this. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change this with that disc we made earlier. Put your um, the disc that you made with all the drivers into your CD drive, and we're going to run it. Okay, as you can see. Here it is. We're going to run exe and we're going to hit yes and just wait. Okay? So, right now you've successfully installed Windows. All you have to do now are the drivers. So, you can just, uh, this will probably do everything for, by itself. So, yep. But everything so far works right now. My trackpad is working. So, yeah. But if you want to take, like, it's not 100% compatible with everything. So here it is. You're going to get to, welcome to the boot, here, let me zoom in. Welcome to the boot camp installer. With the little boot camp thing. And we're going to go down to next. And we're going to go to, I do accept these terms. Next. And then we're go um, I would check this because it updates the drivers and hit install. 
All right, so then it's gonna be completed and hit finish. Um, I'm gonna hit yes. So it's gonna restart.